a little bit like confusing in its packaging or it's confused. Either I'm confused or it's confused. Somebody's confused here. Hey guys, welcome back. So got my February Ipsy bag here for you today. So I've gone ahead and opened up this bag, tried out the goodies inside. So I'll be able to give you some little mini reviews and just my thoughts and opinions on these products. So let's jump in. So it looks like the theme this month is pretty in hashtag Ipsy pink. And it says this February, we're taking our favorite shade from dainty to daring with rule breaking looks for all beauty lovers. So kind of like a Valentine's sort of a theme. So cute theme. And then this is the bag, which I absolutely love. This side is just a solid pink, but then this side is almost like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like bumpy and it has a really cute kind of almost like pixelated sort of a pattern on it, but it's really cute. So I like this bag a lot and it feels sturdy and well-made. So let's look at what's inside. This is actually the only thing in the bag that I have not tried yet. This is the Smashbox New Photo Finish Primer Oil. So it's a pretty good size little sample and it's cute and little, which is an added little bonus. Um, I haven't used it yet because I don't use primers every day and I don't use primer oils really. I don't. I don't know if I ever have actually. Um, and my skin just hasn't been dry enough to really need an oil sort of a primer. So I think what I'm gonna do is put this in my kit for dry skin clients. I don't do a lot of freelance makeup, but when I do, that would be nice to have in there. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do with it. And I like that it's in the bag because it's Smashbox and that's you know, a nice expensive brand. So I think this is cool. Then I got this Jersey Shore Spa Anti-Aging Lip and Hand Polish. It says all natural and it's vanilla bean. And it says nutrient dense with anti-aging ingredients, vitamin E and jojoba oil. So I use this and it's nice. First off, it smells really yummy. Yeah, smells like vanilla, really nice. And it does have like a good grittiness to it to really be a nice scrub, but it also, you can tell that it has those like vitamin E and like jojoba oil because it feels kind of like, it's sort of oily with the gritty stuff in it. So it's like hydrating, but also exfoliating too. So I think this is really cool. I haven't tried it on my lips, only on my hands, but um, I do really like this. It smells yummy and it seems to work well. Then I got a little brush. This is the Luxe 221 Flat Definer Brush. This is what it looks like. So I use this on my lower lash line and it works great. Like it's a really soft um, synthetic brush and the bristles seem, you know, nice quality. It seems to be well made. I love that it's pink. Um, and it did a really good job for lower lash line work. So I think this is really nice. It's a good brush. So I like this too. Then I got a lip product. This is the Chella Passionate Pink Lip Pencil. And I don't see a name on it, so I'm assuming Passionate Pink is the color name. Now what's funny about this, and really the only kind of negative feedback that I would have about it, is that it's a little bit like confusing in its packaging or it's confused. Either I'm confused or it's confused. Somebody's confused here because this looks orange, like it would be orange. Then it looks like it would be kind of like a red sort of a shade, but it really ends up being kind of like a raspberry sort of a color, which I really do like. I wore this yesterday for several hours and it wears pretty well, kind of like a good lipstick. Like it doesn't immediately go away, but it's not super long wearing it's a good amount of a wear time, but it's just a little bit confusing and or confused in it, what color is it? But I do really like the color and it's comfortable on the lips and I do really like this. It's just kind of funny. And then I was really excited to see this in my bag. This is a pigment from Naked Cosmetics and I think the color is Sierra Nevada and I do have this on my lids today and I just blended it up with one blending color. So this is pretty much, I do have some highlight like on my inner corners of my eyes so that adds a little something extra but I really like this and I looked these up and the stacks are like $60 and the individual pigments I think were like $15.99 so this is really nice that this was included. I do have this um, applied kind of foiled on my lids and then sort of blend it up. This is nice. I mean, as long as you like pigments, I think you would really like this pigment and maybe others from them too. But it's just a really pretty bronzy shade. It applied nicely. It was easy to work with as far as pigments go. I mean, it's kind of messy. That's sort of what happens with pigments. So it's a little bit messy, but it's beautiful. It wears well. I really like this. So 
I was super excited that this was in my bag. All right guys, so that was everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. I think that this bag was a total win. I think it was a really, really good month. I mean, I would say my two favorite things are these two, but I really do like the other products that were included in the bag too. So awesome one this month, really great bag. If you wanna sign up for Ipsy, it is $10 a month and I'll leave my link down below. You don't have to use my link. No pressure there, but if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you got in your Ipsy bag. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.